mentioned in our Discord something called Tail Drive, which is from the Tail Scale people. Tail Scale allows you to persistently share folders with other users and devices on your Tailnet. So it basically becomes a document sharing solution amongst your devices. It's automatically integrated into the Files app. In fact, if you have TailScale on your iPhone and you launch the Files app, you will see this appear there. You have to go turn it on. It's in beta or alpha. Sorry, Tail Drive is currently in alpha. And they have steps that you have to go in. They don't have just a little switch that you can flip. You've got to go on the web and edit your uh, TailScale policy. But they give you the thing to paste into your TailScale policy. It's not like you're on your own much of the time but um but i can see this being really cool right. private right we talked about resilio sync recently you know the the way of sharing documents amongst multiple devices well tail scales kind of doing something similar so i like this that's good 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 stuff yeah it's almost like they've thought about this stuff. it is <laughs> like they've thought about this stuff um Mackie Pie also had something really interesting in our Discord that I don't know. It I, I thought it felt related, but Mackie Pie shares with sideloading in the EU being a thing now, meaning alternate alternate app stores essentially being mandated to be allowed in the EU. Some people in the US might wonder, can I do this too? And the answer, says Mackie Pie, is yes, with some asterisks. You need to use your Mac with a special application to do it. You have to resign your apps before a seven day time limit, or you'll have to reinstall the main tool to reactivate them. Each time a new app is added, you have to retrust the developer and apps often contain what are called extensions. And these extensions along with the apps themselves must register an app ID of which you only get 10. But with all of those caveats in place, altstore.io, A-L-T-S-T-O-R-E.io, is sideloading for everyone discover the apps that push the boundaries of ios and and that is sort of the cool part is the apps that are available in this are often going to be things that for whatever reason wouldn't be approved in the app store because they don't live in apple's fairly strictly defined sandbox and so you know your mileage will vary let the buyer be, or the installer beware. I don't think you buy anything, but um, but it is a pretty cool thing. It's it's kind of like jailbreaking made much simpler ish. So, yeah, thank you for that. 